Uh, welcome once again, everyone, to our World Family Rosary Network, where we give praise and honor to the Blessed Virgin Mary, because she is the woman prophesied back in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, to crush the head of the serpent, and no other denomination, including my own Roman Catholic faith, teaches that truth any longer. That's because all of Christianity is under the great delusion of these end times, including the Protestants, including the Orthodox, including Father Mitch Paqua and EWTM, Cardinal Raymond Burke, uh, Mel Gibson, Taylor Marshall. They all teach that Jesus will crush the head of the serpent. That's a huge theological and scriptural error because nowhere in the Bible is there ever any physical contact between Jesus and an evil entity. The physical contact is always between the woman and either Satan or the Antichrist. And we see that when Jael drives a ten peg through Sisera's forehead. We see it when Judith cuts all Hall Hoffrey's head with two sword strokes. We see it in the book of Esther where there is physical contact between Esther and Haman, but never between the king and Haman. And we see it when David takes on Goliath with five smooth pebbles. The physical contact is with one of those pebbles, not between David. David stands off at a distance. David directs the operation, just like Jesus is in charge. He's the commander-in-chief. But Mary is his five-star general. And the rosary is involved because we are involved in defeating Satan and the Antichrist. God has given us that honor of being part of his army. Now, uh, later on the program, after the rosary, I'm going to expose a demonic uh, image. I don't know if you've seen this or not. This is being promoted today on um, Spirit Daily. This is a demonic image. It is not a miraculous image. I will explain it to you after the program. It's also being shown over on Gloria TV. About every other year, this comes out, this surfaces, and it's promoted as a holy image. If you have one of these in your homes, burn it as soon as you can. And I will explain, explain to you after the rosary why that is a demonic image. Ah, Peter Breen's right on time. Good morning, Peter. Hello there, young fellow. Hey, I like that young fellow business. <laughs> <laughs> Jam, Jam, uh, I noticed a comment by JMJ. She says, I, I look uh, 10 years younger than I did 10 years ago. So I'm going in the right direction. Oh, it's, it's so remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's possible, you know. There are five, uh, and we're supposed to, in the, in the um, millennium, we're supposed to go back in age. We're supposed to go back to 33. Oh, that sounds great. I, Well, he fills our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Yes, yes. Well, it, it'll be miraculous. I mean, the whole millennium is miraculous. And not, not an awful lot of go people are going to make it survive into the millennium. We have to be um, protected by Mary, as Heidi Bagley re received in her dream. And that's who we're praying for today. We're praying for Paul and Heidi Bagley to convert and become Catholic. And Dana Coverstone also, as far as that goes. Okay, so today is Thursday, November the 18th, so I think we better start. That means we'll pray the Luminous Mysteries. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail, um, we'll pray these first three Hail Marys for the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, and for our true Pope and our true President. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first uh, luminous mystery is the baptism of our Lord in the River Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Okay, before I start the next mystery, a uh, note to uh, Sandra, we do have a troll on there, which I don't, don't delete the person, but just to remove that comment, please. That's a troll comment against Mary, and we don't allow those here on the rosary program, of course. And someone says that we're not having sound. Uh, from this end, the sound is fine. So I would say check your computers. The third uh, luminous mystery is the uh, proclamation of the kingdom. Pater noster, qui es in chalis, sanctificetur nomen tuum. Adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, secret in cielo et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum, de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debitar nostra, secret et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et de nos inducas in tentationum sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. 
Santa Maria Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto. Sicuderet in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of our Lord on Mount Tabor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, our Lord institutes the Eucharist at the Last Supper. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Peter. Oh, yes. Thank you. Have you got some... Sure. Are you going to give us another report, by the way, this morning? <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, well, uh, I I looked at the Church Militant uh, website yesterday, and uh, I saw Michael's broadcasting from the stage uh, that I was talking about. And okay. that was really... Oh, that was great. Yeah. And then they did a... Uh, they did a um, Michael along with uh, Christine Niles and uh, Milo. They did a um, like the the post uh, rally uh, coverage, uh, and they covered what happened and uh, oh. talked about the issues. And that was really good. Okay. And, uh, Milo, Milo was just hilarious through <laughs> everything, just whoop, whooping it up. <laughs> and, I'll, uh, I'll have to check that out. Oh yeah, that was great. And. Uh, yeah, uh, Michael has also followed up with some vortexes, and uh, oh, he also, this was good, he, um, oh, yesterday, he let Father Altman stand in on the, uh, his vortex, I don't know if you've seen his vortex No. things, oh, he has, every day he has Oh, well, no, yeah, vortex. yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen the, yeah, I've seen the vortex, but I, I, I haven't seen that particular one, no. Oh, well, you know, in the vortex, he holds that, uh, number two pencil. Yes, yes. All, yeah. Well, Father Altman stood in for him yesterday, and he's holding a number two pencil. <laughs> and Father Altman just tore into the 
to the bishops. Uh, it was like a 15 minute um, just dialogue or a monologue. Wow. And it was so good, so yeah. good. Uh, so I, I'll, that's, I'll that's check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Father Altman is just tremendous. Yeah, he knows the score. Well, did, oh, you, yeah. did, you, did you have some music for us this morning? <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Let's go. Let's go. Rejoice, kings and kingdoms, and sing, little children, the day of fulfilling has finally come. The gift of salvation has spread to the nations. They're worshiping him in a heavenly tongue. Hail to the Father, the God of creation. Glory to Jesus, his blessed Son. The latter-day promise has fallen upon us. He's here, he's here. The comforters come. He said, in the last days, I'll pour up my spirit upon your handmaidens, your daughters and sons. Lift up your voices and shout, Hallelujah! He's here, he's here, the work has been done. Hail to the Father, the God of creation. Glory to Jesus, his blessed Son. The latter-day promise has fallen upon us. He's here, he's here, the comforters come. Okay, I never heard of that one. Huh. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a uh, dance dance song, I guess. Yeah, it's in a minor key, though. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. It's, it's another one from our uh, illustrious uh, evangelical friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, he has a lot of good ones. Yeah. Okay, so, thanks, Peter. Have a good one, everyone. See you tomorrow. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks to Peter for mentioning about Michael Voris. I'm going to have to check that out. Father Altman doing the Vortex program and twirling the pencil. <laughs> if you would like to contact me, there's my name and address, William Tapley, Post Office Box 291, Osage, Iowa, 50461. If you would like to order my books, go to my website, thirdeaglemedia.com, and uh, look under the newsletter tab. The July newsletter has, is an order form, the second page. And this is volume four. If I do not return, no flesh will be saved. And uh, this is in the Holy Spirit Guide to End Times Prophecy. You need these books to understand end times prophecy. The Bible is not complete. A lot of people don't like to have me say that, but it's the truth. End times prophecy, like Daniel. Daniel was told to seal up the prophecy. And that's what you get in the Bible for end times prophecy. A sealed up prophecy. It must be interpreted. That's because end times prophecy is a work of the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, I mentioned this photograph. And I want to talk about this because uh, Spirit Daily, which you really can't trust, they, they have no discernment over there. They throw everything out there. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. This is not a holy image. This is a demonic image. This is from Satan. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to show it to you. <clears throat> Let me see if I got to get it right here. Yeah, like this. I'll put it on the screen so you can see. The good way to sh to prove to you that this is a demonic image is to look at those fingers. Look at the hand. That is, those are not, those are grotesque fingers. Now, sometimes they will fix those up to make them look like real fingers, but that's not in the original. And secondly, that is not a male, that is a female and you should be able to see that. Now, I'm going to put it on its side on the screen. And maybe you can, maybe, it can, I don't know if I can, you can see. Uh, here's the demonic image on its side. And I don't know, can you see the, uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, cursor or not. If I put the cursor on there, this is the, uh, demon's face up here at the top center where the hands are. The hands are actually a demon's face. I don't know if you can... You can't see my cursor. I, there's a way to do that, and I don't know how to do it. Maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should uh, <clears throat> show it to you. I was hoping to show it this way, but I since I can't... <clears throat> I don't know how to <clears throat> put that image on there right. I'm going to go back and do it. <clears throat> 
I'm going to show it to you this way. I can do this. This is the demon's face right there. His head looking looking towards the uh, female. These here are his wings behind him. Can you see that? This is his forearm. He's got his forearm on her shoulders. This hand is this is like a paw. And this up here is like a paw. He's got his both of his hands on her shoulders. And here these are breasts. This is like a this is a female. You can see it. I mean they try to hide it, but that's what those forms are. Can you see the breasts? That's the whole idea of this. You have it's what it's what it's called incubus. This is a demon having intercourse with a female. That's a female face. Notice those red lips. That's not an image of Jesus. Now I'll read you the definition of incubus. Because that's what this is a picture of. This is from Wikipedia. An incubus is a demon in male form who, according to mythological and legendary traditions and in the Bible, lies upon sleeping women in order to engage in sexual activity with them. Its female counterpart is a succubus. And we see that this was the problem at uh, Noah's, Noah's time. Remember the women were having intercourse with demons. I'm sure that's what it was referring to. So, uh, if you go over to uh, Spirit Daily, they're promoting that this morning, at least they were. It's not a miraculous image. Well, it's miraculous, it's spiritual, but it is a demonic image. I can see why Protestants are um, very leery about Catholic images. And that's because Catholics, a lot of Catholics, cannot discern. This does not like, uh, and they'll never promote Sister Renee's photograph, which is a miraculous image, a message from God, but they won't show that. But they will show a demonic image like that because they can't discern. And that image is also being promoted according to Spirit Daily right now on Gloria TV. They can't discern either. I mean, they do some good things, but uh, they're, they're also going to promote evil images. And as I say, that's why Protestants are very... They've, they've taken the attitude of don't have any images in order to prevent demonic images. And that's one solution because there's no doubt that artists like to fool. Well, look at the, what is it, the Snake Auditorium in the Vatican. I mean, these artists or architects in that case, they like to fool church people. And of course, um, they like to feel fool government people too, like out in the satanic um, murals at the Denver airport. Although in that case, I think the people, that the government was all in favor of it. I think that they probably told Leo Tanguma what kind of images to do. Okay, I think it's now time to like take a look at the chat. And let me see here. Diane Thornton says, I am using a magnifying glass, and it is very clear, the demon in the picture. Okay, thanks, Diane. It is clear. That reminds me. I forgot to show you the uh, the other demon in the image. I forgot to show you this. And that is right down here. You can tell that foot is messed up, <laughs> just like the hands are messed up. Well, just look at that demon. You turn it upside down, and I think you can see that. Can you see that satanic image in the feet on his one foot there? That's pretty obvious, actually. To me, it's pretty obvious. I guess you can. can I guess you can see that. Have I got that right? Yeah, I guess that's right. Anyway. There's, there's a lot of other uh, demon images in that photograph. 
Okay, let me go back to the beginning here. Oh, I'm an awful lot of chat. You know, today is Thrift Shop Day. I'm just going to go let people, let you read everybody's comments Then you're on your own. Uh, JMJ, you can read her comments. Metro customers praying for the Kyles. <laughs> JMJ says, Mr. T, are you a body double? You look older 12 years ago and look number younger now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Well, I tell you, um, as I say, in the millennium, we're all supposed to go back to 33 years of age. So maybe maybe I've started to go back. <laughs> well, I'm afraid not. Okay, Metro customers here. I'm going to let you read all of Metro customers' comments yourself. They are all good com comments. But I don't have time. Let's see. Metro says, these prophecies have been ringing in my ears the last two years. Yeah, read read what she says there. I don't have time to go over it. Read it, though. Metro customer talks about Mother Mariana de Jesus. Yeah, Taurus died three times. I think she's the one, Our Lady of uh, Good Success, I believe. Admin Nancy K are here. Alyssa Moulton, UL Phil 8. Uh, Susan Kobach. Ginger Baker. Hmm. Marcus Chu is here. Susan Kovach. Pam McPherson. Joyce Adcock is here. Deborah Bundra. I'm, I, I apologize for going real fast through everybody. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you put a lot of thought into all these comments. And, but have consolation that just about everybody else reads what, you, what you've written. But I'm not going to read it because that's like doing it twice. And besides, I don't. I do have a lot of things to do today. Plus, I have to get over there and <laughs> get my treasures. Oh, I meant to show you my treasures I got last time. I did get. I got a. Uh, I got a heavy duty extension cord, which is what I was looking for. Sure enough, they had one for a buck. Can't can't beat that. And they had a a good. Uh, what do you call it? motion detector outdoor uh, installation for a motion detector and it was the box was all kind of beat up i said i know i'll take a chance i took it home it had never been set up it was brand new it is brand new so i'm gonna have to set that up i had i planned on doing that setting up my backyard where all my sculptures are which i think is a good idea they charged me all of three dollars for that <laughs> It's got to be worth 35 or 40 I would think. Sandra Levine is praying for the Bagleys to become Catholic. That's what we're praying for here, because uh, Heidi Bagley was in the role of Mary in her latest dream. And Heidi means full of grace. I couldn't believe it. Aurora Lyon is here. Susan Kovach. Marie Nolan. JMJ again. Ginger Baker. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ah, Sayaku is here. Sayaku says the time is faster as we know it. it. does seem to be going faster. Sam Fisher Sr. is here. Alma Madrano, our resident sidewalk counselor. Oh, by the way, did anybody listen to John Leary's uh, Zoom conference last night? I did not get a chance to. I, I prayed with um, Sam on his uh, Piatai Rosary. My nose is itching. And the Lord is, maybe the Lord wants me to read everybody's <laughs> messages after all. Let me get a drink of water. So as I say, did every, anybody um, watch John Leary last night? And I was wondering if he said anything new. Is Dale Fawlty here? She usually uh, tunes in. At least she gave a good report. Let's see, JMJ says, Archbishop Vigano's new message says we are in a global coup d'etat. That's one way to put it. <laughs> a global coup d'etat. <laughs> Basically, that we're under the, we're in the land, the one world government. Uh, the, the sons of Haman are leading all the countries of the world, except maybe Poland. 
Poland is, and they're putting a lot of pressure on to get rid of the premier of Poland, the president of Poland. I'm not sure what the, his term is. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, Susan Kovach, JMJ. JMJ said, I've seen that picture in the Catholic bookstore with the nuns. Yeah, they don't they don't understand that that's a demonic image. All you got to do is look at the hands. Look at the hands. Now, some images of this, they have fixed up the hands. They have made them look like praying hands. <laughs> so the, in other words, the artist recognized that that's not right. You can see those hands. They are all, it's a, they're grotesque. They're all twisted. Looks like arthritis or something, you know? What do you call kind of that? Is that rheumatoid arthritis? A horrible disease. My cousin had that. Her fingers are all twisted and bent out of shape. Very much like that. All you gotta do is look at that and say, hmm, something's not right. And then if you look, as, you, as I say, if you put it sideways, then you then you can see what it's all about. Okay, now we had a troll here. And Sandra said I should answer the troll, which I will. I will answer the troll. Uh, Ermine, mine only, says, Remember, only pray to the Father. Do not take a chance on your prayers falling on deaf ears. Christ, not Mary, wants a relationship with you. He listens to your prayers. Well, Mary listens to our prayers. If you don't believe that, uh, go to Lourdes. Uh, Thousands of cripples have left their crutches at Lourdes. So, so don't try to tell me that uh, <laughs> praying to Mary has no use. They got miracles from praying to Mary. And Jesus worked his first miracle through Mary's intercession. And he did that for a purpose, to let us know that Mary is the intercessor, intercessor par excellence. Jesus is the only way to the Father, but Mary is the only way to Jesus. This is the chain of command, especially in these end times. There is a chain of command. Jesus is the commander-in-chief, but Mary is the five-star general. And we are not up in, the, in, in the, either of those categories. We are down in the private first class. And if we're lucky, we're private first class. Unless you're like me and you lose your stripe because you get in trouble with your first sergeant. <laughs> and then you Actually, it wasn't the first sergeant. It was a corporal that took my stripe away from me. <laughs> I shouldn't be mad at him. The guy was, he was a nice guy, actually. Not only that, but he rooted for the same baseball team I did. <laughs> well, anyway, what did South Suns Ermine say here? Oh, yeah, and, and I think JMJ gave an answer to the troll, and she said, she pointed out that the, the Hail Mary prayer is, the, the first Hail Mary was spoken by God himself through his messenger, the Archangel Gabriel. So... To repeat the words of the Father is, you can't go wrong. Okay, let's see. Snowland says she had a dream. Well, Snowland, I hope you send me a copy of this. Snowland says, dream that I went to church and the priest was giving Holy Communion out like whatever. I could feel Jesus on the floor and stepped on by the people. I had a small black cart with food in it people inside. I don't know if she completes this dream or not. So uh, if you want to send me your dream, you know, the, you know the routine. I love to read your dreams and do a little decode. Uh, Tina says, hello. Now she's had sound. Tina, I guess, had trouble getting the sound. Uh, Susan Kovach, Roses for BVM, Pam McPherson. Pam says I had to restart the phone and got sound that way. Well, from here, from this, from this end, uh, the sound has been good the whole time. No drop frames. No buffering. Romans says there's a word swelling around. Lord laid it on my heart to research singularity. Okay, yeah, check it out. I don't know what what they mean by singularity. Uh, Jesus does want unity. He prayed for that. Roses for BVM says to Snowland, I am constantly convicted that we are offending Jesus and how the Eucharist is received. Yeah, the bishops put out their document. They all voted on it. They supported it by 95% of them voted on it. 
Well, why don't they ban communion in the hand? That would be the very first thing. If you want to start honoring the Eucharist, you can get rid of communion in the hand. Mary said at Bayside, communion in the hand was brought in to facilitate Satanists stealing the Eucharist. And that's the reason it was brought in. That's because Satan is in the church right now, as Pope Paul VI said. By the way, uh, who did, uh, oh, it was Return to Tradition did one on uh, the Vatican uh, Luciferic uh, sacrifice they had, in the, which Malachi Martin describes in Windswept House. Anyway, uh, Return to Tradition did a pretty good video on that yesterday. Oh, here's the rest of Snowland's dream. The church was being rude. They were eating and chatting during Mass. I entered and went on my knees to give reparation to Jesus. The persist started to tell us they were stocking up on food and we should do the same thing. Okay, I don't think that's probably the right word I've got there. Uh, Snowman says, I did not know what the bishops, bishop said or did. Okay, well, also the priest was eating strange food in front of us. It was strange. Okay, well, uh, let me know if you, uh, is that the whole dream, Snowland? Or can you, if you can remember any more details on it, you can write it up and send it to me. You don't have to have it, don't, you don't have to have your sister type it up. I don't, I can read your writing. Well, I can't read your writing too well, but I can figure it out. And I can call you up if I can't figure it out. <laughs> Don't wait to have it typed up. The last time it took two weeks for your sister to type it up for me. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rosa says to Snow, and basically they will not refuse communion to anyone, especially pro-abortion politicians. Yeah, the bishops, they all lay right down, and let the politicians walk all over them. These bishops would never, ever have told King Herod that he was committing adultery, for example. They would never stick their neck out like John the Baptist did. They would never do that. These bishops would never tell Henry VIII that he was committing adultery like St. Thomas More did, and he lost his head for that. And these bishops would never do any of that. That's why we really can't follow them. And they mentioned three or four years ago that they were going to respond. They put up a, they set up a commission to respond to, not respond, but well, to comment on, to respond to footnote 351 of Amoris Laetitia, and they never did. And of course, that's the one that says that there are times when you can give that which is holy to the dogs, which is not what their document says. The document says that only people without mortal sin can receive communion. But, you know, a, a law without teeth is no law at all. And that's what that's what they've, they're doing. And so their law is meaningless. The document that they... And they support footnote 351, as far as I can see. They've never said yes or no on that. Cardinal Supridge, we know he supports footnote 351 because he came out the next day and said anyone and everyone may receive communion in the Archdiocese of Chicago. So, and then that, what does that do? That invalidates the Eucharist. Because the priest's intention is one of the most important, well, it's one of the three requirements for a valid Eucharist. And I've mentioned this many times. You need, you need to have the same matter that Jesus had used. You have to say, use the same words that Jesus used. You have to say, have the same intention. Well, you can tell whether, whether a priest using in the right words or the right matter, but you don't know what his intention is. And as St. Thomas Aquinas taught and the church taught subsequently, it is the church that determines the intention. In other words, if a Catholic priest decides to leave the Catholic church, and I know my nephews tell me this all the time, but what about a UI priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek? When I asked them, I said, what about if you leave the Catholic Church and you decide to join the Episcopal Church? Are your Eucharists valid then? Well, they didn't know what to say. They're not valid because the Episcopal Church does not believe in transubstantiation. 
the real presence of our Lord in the Eucharist. Now, the bishop's document, they make a big deal about the, our Lord being truly present in the Eucharist. That's what they voted on and adopted. I don't think the Eucharist, Jesus is in their Eucharist. I think they're mistaken on that. Because if they are going to ruin the intention of the priest by supporting footnote 351 of Amoris Laetitia and going along with Pope Francis and his one world religion, then it's just as if the priest had joined the Episcopal Church or any Protestant denomination. His Eucharist will not be, his consecrations will not be valid because it's the church that determines the intention, which is one of the three requirements for a valid Eucharist. I've said this many times on here. I get tired of it saying it over and over again. Snowland says, thank you, everyone. I feel bad about what they are doing to Jesus and to his people. I will continue to pray. Well, that doesn't mean you can't find a true valid Eucharist. I am still looking. If your priest publicly says that he is not going to give communion to divorced and remarried, civilly remarried, remarried Catholics, then he can maintain his Eucharist if he's not going to give communion to pro-abortion politicians. I mean, yesterday, Bishop Wilton Gregory came right out and said that Biden is welcome at any parish in his diocese. Well, sure, he's not. And you saw, you saw that picture of Wilton Gregory and the Jacinta 1973 photograph. That reminds me, Spirit Daily will never show the, the um, Bayside photograph, the Jacinta 1972 photograph. They'll show this, this questionable demonic image. They'll show this all day long, but they won't show Jacinta 1972. And they won't show Sister Renee's miraculous photograph also. Diane, oh, I've read Diane's comment. I am using magnifying glass, and it is very clear, the demon in the picture. Sandra says, oh, yes, I was going to say succubus. Interesting take, William. Yeah, well, it's... Un I don't know why these people can't see that, but it, I, I am sympathetic to Protestants who... have they've, they've decided that artists are not to be trusted. <laughs> and I agree with them. I couldn't agree with them more. Artists are not to be trusted. And uh, they they just make a rule. Well, no no images of any kind. And that way you're safe. That's the way to do it. But there are holy images. That, I mean, certainly Our, Our Lady of Guadalupe is a holy image. You could certainly show that in your church. You could certainly show the Shroud of Turin. That's a holy image. So, so there are holy images. And I showed you the Orthodox uh, images yesterday of their the icons that they have. Okay, what else have we got here? Rosa says, I live on a small island with one archdiocese. No traditional Latin mass available. Our archbishop is not allowing communion on the tongue and is actively pushing the jab. Well, that's... I would question very much whether... The Eucharist is valid in your your priest has got to publicly say that he is not going to give communion to the divorced and civilly remarried. That is actually more the watershed moment rather than giving communion to pro abortion politicians. That is the issue that Pope Francis put in Amoris Laetitia. He says, Oh yeah, there are times when you can give communion to Catholics, well, that's one of the first things he did. Remember, he took a phone call from that woman in Argentina. She said her husband, she married her husband. He was divorced and, civ and we were civilly remarried. And the Pope says, oh, that's no problem. You can receive communion. Oh, that's typical. Uh, I mean, that's, that's his attitude. And the Bible says that uh, Daniel chapter 10, verse number 3. I ate no desirable bread. That's the Eucharist. Neither flesh nor wine entered into my mouth. That's the Eucharist being taken away in these end times. Neither was I anointed with oil. He is telling us there that the one who takes away the daily sacrifice from the prince is an unanointed clergyman, in this case, Pope Francis. Now, I was thinking the other day, yesterday, 
if Pope Francis does repent and resign, which he could do. I mean, that's what we've been praying for. When I, If I pray for Pope Francis, which I don't do that very often, <laughs> I probably should more. I pray for him to repent and resign. That would save his soul, or it would go a long ways towards saving his soul, probably would save his soul. And I was thinking, who would they put in his place? I wouldn't be surprised if it would be Wilton Gregory. He's one of he's one of the Pope's right hand mans here in this country. He and Cardinal Supich. And uh, Wilton Gregory is the one who was shown in that Jacinta 1972 picture. I don't know if that, I have that on the screen or not. No, I don't have it. I do have that smoke ring. Remember the smoke ring? Now, that, now Spirit Daily doesn't mind showing the smoke ring over Francis' head as a, that it looks like a halo. But they don't show the smoke wing, wing. The smoke ring when it becomes too demon snakes. That they don't show. Okay, uh, people, the chat, the thrift shop is now open. Tina says, so only if they live as brother and sister may a divorced and civilly remarried person receive communion. Yes, that's true. I should have mentioned that. That's not what Francis is saying. He's saying that they don't have to live as brother and sister. But you're right. The church has always taught what you say. Francis has Change that with footnote 351. And as I pointed out before, 351 is the rosary number backwards, the way Satan would write it. That's not accidental. Okay, everybody, I am going to sign off early. Uh, don't forget, Sam Fisher tonight will do a live stream on his, uh, not on his YouTube channel, he's over on DLive now. now. By the way, nobody gave me a report on uh, John Leary last night. How am I going to find out what he said? Nobody must have tuned in. Sandra Levini says, That's not why Protestants don't like art and statues in their churches and such. It's not about trusting artists. It's about idolatry, and they are mistaken about them. Well, you're right. Yeah, They, they say that any image is idolatrous. And that's why Mary's not going to save them. I mean, Heidi is going to save them. Heidi. Heidi is means full of grace. And most Protestants are not going to make it into the millennium. Only a tiny fraction are going to be raptured. And, the, and, and they will make it to heaven because the, a lot of them are smart enough to not to take the mark of the beast. I mean, I used to think that everyone who took the mark took the who refuse the mark of the beast will make it into the millennium. But now I realize, and this is from Heidi's dream, I put two and two together. Only those who are protected by Mary in the desert are going to uh, make it into the millennium. And that's a tiny fraction. That's 144,000. That means that billions of people, even though they refuse the mark, will not make it into the millennium. They'll go to heaven and they are... They're given a martyr's crown because they suffer and die in the desert. Okay, uh, I, keep, I keep trying to close out, close out this program because we're way over time. Dale Fonte says that Carla is giving info. Oh, about John Leary's. Uh, did I miss that? I'll take a. I'll take time here and read it if, if she did some information on John Leary's. Uh, Math 236 says, Please pray for a faithful lady from our church. She can't come to church anymore because she held a sign against the you-know-what. Uh, that's exactly the problem, isn't it, Bav? And the, and the, church, uh, is, the church depends on... The church is depending on <laughs> the government to protect us rather than... Having, there's no faith in the church left. Rome has lost the faith, as Mary prophesied. Okay, here's what Carla says. Carla says the Enoch the prophet has died from Columbia, according to John Leary. Okay, so he must have mentioned that last night. And I was just reading uh, one of the prophecies from Enoch. Okay, thanks, Carla. Well, I was hoping for a full report. I know Carla sent me a... 
Carl, I know, thank you for sending me the link to John Larry's Zoom, but I instead I said the rosary last night with with uh, Sam. Because they're on about the same time. You know, Phil says to roses, if your church doesn't allow uh, communion on the tongue, find one that does. You know, that's easier said than done. Okay, I keep trying to, let's see. Uh, uh, Dale says that Carl said that Enoch the prophet has died. I read that. And she is saying that John showed miraculous photos of the refuges covered by protective walls. Oh, I would have liked to have seen that. Well, that's very similar to Heidi's dream. She said that in the book of Revelation, when the earth swallows the flood from the, from the demon, that the earth opens up and she saw a room. And that's a refuge. That's what Heidi saw. Uh, United Heart says, I believe Carla is telling us because this messenger Enoch's death signifies something. An example could be signifying that tribulation begins or that judgment begins. I am not sure. Okay, well, I, that, may be, that may be the point that John Leary was saying, that there's a significance to his, him dying. Uh, so Karen says, John Leary says, a major chastisement disaster will be happening soon. Uh, Read that anyone who hurts my little ones, it would be better for them if a millstone should be hung around their neck and them cast into the water. Yes, uh, well. We, we used to pray out in front of a, Carla knows, Carla used to do it also. We prayed out in front of a, she was in our group, Father, uh, Father Malachi. He led our group. We prayed out in front of the abortionist in Utica. And uh, I felt sorry for the guy. He knew he was doing evil. I told I told you about the one time he went in. We got there early in the morning. This is when we first started out. And uh, he, he looked. Filthy, dirty, had blue jeans on. It looked like he'd been working. It slept in his clothes. And I hollered over at him. I said, are you as dirty on the inside as you are on the outside? And he yeah, hollered back. He said, dirtier. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. He admitted it. He admitted it. And the guy had six kids. He didn't mind aborting other people's kids, so. Dale said... Just helping Mr. Tapley because he didn't see Carla's first notes. Thanks, Dale. No, I didn't see her first note. I was going by real fast here. Uh, I just wish we had all uh, that Carla had started um, putting on here before her report. <laughs> because uh, now I would like to read them, but I am going to leave. I'm going to force myself to leave like I keep threatening to do. Uh, so don't forget, tonight at 8 p.m. on um, Sam Fisher's program on D Live. He will do another live stream rosary and then I will be back tomorrow morning. Same time, same station until I do see all of you again. May God bless all of you and may all of you have a very blessed day.